Senator Fasano. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, Madam President, um, I echo the comments by my colleagues around this circle. Um, and Chairman O'Probes, I do not have any questions for you, so you can sit back. Um, public defenders certainly do good work. And I think that Senator Austin is correct that they do it with their heart and soul. So I don't take anything away from them. When you look at their salaries, they begin at roughly 67,600 uh, for a public defender, go to $141,000, and then you have to also add in the benefits that the state gives, which are, as everyone knows, are fairly incredible in the state of Connecticut relative to other states. So what comes to me is we just got out of a joint session budget with the Governor Lamont. And Governor Lamont's message, I think, was pure, pure and simple on the expense side. We're in a state that has a large pension debt. We're in a state that he wants to get the employees from the state union into a room, teachers' pension under control because it's unaffordable. And as many people I've heard mention in the last few weeks is that these fixed costs crowd out social services. Every time we approve a contract like this, we are taking fixed costs going up. Something's got to give. And what has been giving has been municipal aid and social services. Governor Lamont said it. We can't raise income tax anymore because it's a diminishing return. Now we've got some other taxes that one could argue are very regressive, at least on the board for now, very regressive. And that's the way we're going to do it. But the core is it, why are we here? What is it that's causing it? It's a contract like this. There is not in the private sector people getting 6% increases in their wages. It's not happening. It's not, people are lucky if they could hold on to their job in this economy, steady on the income, maybe it goes up 1%. But it's not going up 6%, and I doubt it's even going up 3.5%. And when they say 3.5% is a COLA, we've got to be intellectually honest with each other and say it is not a COLA. A COLA is a cost of living adjustment that's tied to the rate of inflation. This is a salary increase, 3.5%, period. It's what it is. At least, at least let's be honest in the chamber with each other when we have the conversation and say this is a salary increase every year. Now, if you're okay with that, vote yes. But at 92 cents on the dollar, which is what we're paying for benefits, and by the way, I think it's 96, but because it was stated today it was 92, I will stick with 92. 92 cents of every dollar that's being spent, we have to pay towards our benefits. So when you go up that 6%, you're going up also for our payments for benefits. Our actuarial payments that we just got through hearing about, we can't afford. We just got through with the conversation. So when does this merry-go-round stop? When do we say, look, I love what the, what the public defender's office do, does. Their heart and soul is into what they do, and I know it is. But we've got to say, time out. Let's do what's right for these employees, but let's not hurt others within the budget. That's all it is. It's a conversation. But what this is, what this is, is a ditto of every union contract that's come before us. It's like, everybody's got 3.5, we stick it in there. Everybody's got the step up, we stick it in there. No thought process, this, to say it's negotiated, it's like you're gonna accept the one that we did for everyone else, yeah. Okay, good, that's it, we're done. Heck, they modified it in a day when there was an issue on Janus. So what are we really doing here? Are we really gonna change the system? Or are we going to say, no, let's do business as usual, 
go into our budget negotiations and figure out whose pocket we're going to pick to pay for this and who's going to get the cut to pay for this. That's going to be the conversation as soon as we get into the budget room, is who is going to pay for these contracts. And here we could say, let's start with this one and send a message that we need to go a different route. Governor Lamont in 2021 is going to have to negotiate the wage portion of their contracts. The benefits are golden, if you would. I don't mean that disrespectfully, and I will rephrase that. The benefits are locked in until 2027, so that cannot be touched. It's the wages that are going to come up in 2021. Why don't we say, hey, you know what? The legislature rejected a contract that was a ditto contract because they felt 6% was a little rich. We need to back it down. They sent us a message. We're setting the table for Governor Lamont so when he goes into the negotiation room, he can start saying, you know what, those old days are gone. We need to think differently. We need to think budget. We're helping him help his position in 2021. You approve this, you have said, you're on your own, Governor. We're not sending any message. Do whatever you normally did the other governors pass, including Republicans going all the way back. Do what everyone else has done. Do the ditto and don't worry about it. We'll figure out what magic rock we're going to turn over, what group we haven't taxed yet, what habit we want to stop so we'll tax that, what service is hiding that we don't know about yet that we'll find out about soon enough that we'll tax. That's what it's coming to. I'm not against public defenders. Senator Austin's right. They're hardworking people. I'm not against state employees. They're hardworking people. But the question is, to what end can we fulfill these obligations balanced against the public interest of our budget? And the people depend upon the very social services that we're going to have to look hard on and figure out if they're going to get cut as we look at this budget. So with all due respect to the public defenders, I would suggest that we vote against this contract and let renegotiations begin with a different thought, with a different idea, with the world in mind and the budget deficit of $4 billion in mind, and the fact that this governor is going to have a difficult task and this legislature. This is the place we could send that little message and support for Governor Lamont as he goes into his contract negotiations. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator Fasano. Senator